Hi everyone, today we going to learn how to control stock in Excel by using FIFO method. It's is very easy to maintain stock using Excel. End of this video, I'm sure you will get expert in stock control using Excel. Let's get start by preparing Excel table for stock control. I'm going to categorize stock control in three groups. Let me create header for stock control. Thanks for your patience, I'm almost complete in creating header for stock control table. Let me resize the columns. First category is to insert details about stock in. To look different, I'm putting color by categories. I color this category in gold, accent. Second category is to insert details about stock out. Now I color orange for this category. The third category is to shows balance quantity stock. I put in blue color for this. Now the table is ready to record stock. Start key and first purchase. First of May purchased 11 shares from ABC company. In this Excel we going to record stocks by unit. Meaning, to record 11 shares in 11 rows. Let me show to how to record. Start with key and date. First of May. For the column year and month, I'm going to formularize. Start with equal sign. Type month. Open bracket, select cell C4, close bracket, and enter. The formula for year almost the same. Start with equal sign, type year, open bracket, select cell C4, close bracket, and enter. Key and supplier details, and purchase invoice number. Inventory is chair. Quantity is one unit and the price for one unit. The reason we key in stock by each unit is to make easier to record when the is stock out. You will get clear when I complete the table. Let me record all the 11 units of chairs by copy and paste to 10 more rows. Using the same method, I'm going to record two more purchases. 15th of May bought 5 units of sofa and 7 units of cabinets. Now let's see how to record stock out by FIFO method. Firstly I select all the header and set filter. 2nd of May sold 3 units of chairs. To record this, first we filter inventory to chair. Then record the 3 unit of stock out. Meanwhile we set formula for balance quantity. Quantity in, minus quantity out. The formula is, equal sign, select cell G4, symbol minus, select L4, and enter. Formula for balance amount also the same. Unit price in minus amount out. The formula is, equal sign, select cell H4, symbol minus, select M4, and enter. Twentieth of May sold two units of sofa and five units of cabinets. Let me complete record for stock out. Please take note, amount record under stock out should key in amount purchase, which is cost price. Do not key in selling price. stock in and out already recorded. Before I move to another sheet, let me rename this sheet as master list.
This second sheet is to show the balance stocks by unit and value. I'm renaming the new sheet as Inventory Balance and creating header for the stock summary listing. Listing stocks name in this table. We need to insert formula to the column, balance quantity, and amount. The formula is equal sign, type sumifs, open bracket, in master list select column O, comma, select column F, comma, quotation mark, type chair, quotation mark, close bracket, and enter. The balance chairs is 8. Let's start insert formula for amount as well. The formula is, equal sign, type sumifs, open bracket, Select column P in master list, comma, select column F, comma, quotation mark, type chair, quotation mark, close bracket, and enter. The total value for the balance stock of chair is $160. Let we check whether the balance unit and value show in this list is correct. Filter the inventory to chairs. Select column O, can you see the sum value is 8? So, it's correct. Now select column P, the sum shows as 160, meaning the summary table shows correctly. The formula is ready to copy to other cells. However, we need to change the stock name respectively, such as the name of chair, change to sofa. Repeat the same to other cells. Table have no stock balance as of now. Let me add one purchase for table. Now can see have balance stock for table. If the stock sold out, then again the balance becomes zero. It looks everything working correctly. This is how to control stock balance in Excel using FIFO method. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the channel for more useful tutorials.